On Wednesday, we unveiled the girls high school basketball player of the year. Today, it's the boys turn. And just like the girls, it's coming from Nina. Brady Corso led the Rockets to the state tournament once again. Doug Ritchie has more with our player of the year. After sharing the scoring load as a junior, Brady Corso entered his senior year as the guy, and he did not disappoint. The Nina guard averaged 22 points per game in lifting Nina to its third straight state tournament. Corso always deflects praise, but his play stood out this past season and has been named the Fox 11 Player of the Year. I go into the game just uh, trying to do the best that I can to uh, give my team the best possible chance to win, whether that's uh, a shot for myself, a shot for my setting up my teammates for the best possible shot that they can get, you know, um, really working as hard as possible on the defense, communicating, just being a leader out on the floor. Everything that we expected on the court, um, and then plus just everything off the court, he was, he was such a really good leader for us in practice, before games, every aspect of our program, he lived up to our expectations. In his final high school game, Brady Corso scored 30 points and handed out seven assists in a four overtime loss to Arrowhead in a state semifinal. Corso said he relished the opportunity to go up against Bennett Passage, a Division I recruit going to Green Bay. You're playing in the Kohl Center. Not everybody gets to do that every single year. I was fortunate. You're playing against a D1, D1 point guard, D1 wing that's going to Green Bay. Just fun playing those like, with those type of matchups because you know it's um, it's he's he's a high level basketball player and those are the type of games that you want to be in and that's what that's what all the work is for just to be in super intense fun games games that'll games that'll last a lifetime and memories that will last a lifetime. I was happy for him because I think outside of the FBA, I don't know that many people knew about him. In the first half, he made his mark on the game by creating for others. Then late in the game, you know, he, he made some threes, especially, you know, I think he made a three in each of the first two overtimes. And just his level of play and, and his competitiveness showed in that game. It was an example of what Brady Corso did all season in Nina. Doug Ritchie, Fox 11 Sports. Coming up tonight at 10, Doug and Cody will introduce the first team all area boys selections. They will break down the other five players who are joining Corso on the first team. Nina swept the boys and girls Dougie's player of the year honors. Brady Corso took home the award on the boys side. Who else is joining him on the first team? Doug Ritchie and Cody Krupp break it all down. Well, the high school boys basketball season, unfortunately, it did not end with any local state champions, but one Nina Rocket sure left an impression of Madison and Doug. He left a semifinal game, left it all out there in a game that no one's ever going to forget. He's our player of the year. Yeah, and that's Brady Corso from Nina. Corso was fantastic all season long in the state championship state semifinal. He was terrific. A big reason why Nina almost got to the state championship game, but Corso did everything for this team. 22 points per game. Have you ever seen a high school game like that? Not one, not two, not three, not, well, four. Four overtimes. Corso fell, fell short, but that was a game to remember that Corso put together. Terrific game. 30 points, seven assists. He did. He was the best player on that court last night. There was some D1 talent in that game. He was the best player. All right, now time to unveil the rest of the first teamers. Dougie, a pair of De Pere Redbirds. Course cannot be forgotten on this list, even though they didn't make it to state. Yeah, Will Horn, Seth, obviously, uh, 16 points, seven rebounds a game. Headed to Northern Iowa. This kid, both ends of the court, was a menace. Could hit shots like that. Also a very good defensive player. Yeah, his De Pere running mate, uh, the first, but not only junior, first teamer on this list, Zach Kinzinger. What a, what a kid this is. Yep, 20 points per game, over five rebounds per game which suggests he can do it inside and outside. Unlimited range, really good shooter. He's a gamer, and he's going to Wisconsin, so a lot to look forward to there. And of course, De Pere came in the year reigning state champions, really just seconds and a bucket away from uh, having a chance to repeat. But that, that team, I know they're losing hearts. That they're going to be good next year as well. Absolutely. De Pere, a really good ball club. With When you start with Zach Kinziger, it's a very good starting point for next season. And the most electric, at least I, th I think maybe the most electric on, the li on this list, there was no stop in as Zay Mitchell this year for Oshkosh North. Yeah, if you watch these highlights, you can understand why he's going yep. to Iowa State. 25.7 points per game. Terrific inside-outside player. Yeah, he dunks, but he can play the point guard. He's a really good player, and that's why he's going to be a Cyclone in a couple of years. Yeah, continuing the Spartan to Cyclone, uh, of course, following the steps of Tyrese Halbert. So this honoree undefeated before they fell in the state finals, but Keel, Keel has a good one right here in this guy. Yeah, Pierce Arns, 14, 19 points, 4 assists per game. 
Really good player, really clever. Knew how to get baskets inside despite being under six feet. And he also could hit the three. All right, rounding out the Fox 11 first teamers. I could not believe this guy has a year of left of eligibility. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, Packer and Conference are very happy about it. Yeah. Drew Douse, 32.8 points per game, 20, well, 2,225 career. He knows how to score, which suggests by his points. Just a terrific player, scores in all kinds of ways. All these guys can score. And they play yes. defense, they're good. They're just good teammates. It's what it's, it's not all about the stats that get you on this list. Uh, there's a reason why they uh, why they're the Dougie Awards. So for Dougie Cody, thanks for watching our Dougie Awards. You can see all the honorees on our website, fox11online.com.